Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Pre-Market News and Views by In The Money Stocks. Today is August 20th, 2015. My name is Nick Santiago. Thank you all for tuning in. What you're going to see here is that the S&P 500 E-minis are trading lower by about nine points right now to 2064 per contract. But the one thing you want to take note of is that the futures were down a lot more. They traded today as low as 2053 and a half per contract around five in the morning. So you could see how they put this pull back a little higher low pattern in and have been moving up steadily uh, over the last 30 minutes. So again, futures have come off the lows, but they are still down about nine points, uh, but they were down much, much more. They were down 10 more points than this. Um, so this is um, quite a comeback, but they are still negative on the trading day. So we'll see how this plays out. It, remember, this is an options X trading week. So you get a lot of game playing by the institutions, especially in the individual names. All right, let's take a look at some stocks in the news. We're going to start off with NTAP. NTAP is the ticker symbol here. You're going to see that this is trading at $31.81. Um, all in all, it closed at $29.78. So it's a pretty good move higher. But this did sprint right after the closing bell all the way up toward the 35 level so it's way off of the uh after hours high so again keep this in perspective i'm seeing fair amount of resistance um just just naturally around 32 and a quarter it's not a level where i would look to get short um but what i will do for this one is i'm going to try to find some gap levels i think we could see some plays in this um but either way there's also more resistance around 33.50 and then all the way up around 34.50. So a lot of resistance levels coming into play, but they are having a, a decent little reaction to the, I believe it is earnings for NTAP. So we'll see how that plays out. Let's take a look at L Brands. LB is the ticker symbol. This is trading at around $79 right now. It closed at 81.18. Um, the only level that really interests me for this stock is around $75.65, $75.60. If it got down there, I think that's a good level for a bounce. I'm not sure it's going to trade down there. You are going to have some minor support around 78 But again, the only level I'm interested in is around $75.68. And we'll see if that does happen. Should it get there? I do like that level. Let's take a look at Disney. <clears throat> Disney is trading lower today on the back of a downgrade. And again, during Options X week, you're going to get lots of upgrades, lots of downgrades. That's just par for the course. Stock closed yesterday at 106.45. It is trading at 104 and a quarter. Um, there is a little bit of support here around this level, but ultimately, I think Disney still has lower prices to go. It had a big sell-off after earnings, has never retreated, has never come back. So again, the stock's still in retreat mode. Um, let it pull back further. I might even do a video this afternoon or later this morning on where I think Disney is going since so many traders have been asking about it. So again, I'll do some calculations on Disney, but right now definitely a little bit weak, um, but you do have some support right around this 104 level. Should that break, believe me, Disney can go down to 101.80 and potentially even lower than that. Let's take a look next up at Yoku. I believe this was on the back of earnings. Um, <clears throat> Stock right now is trading at $17, closed at $17.75. The only level that interests me is around $14, $14.30, somewhere in that vicinity. So you got to look way lower than where we are now. Um, but should it get down there, we'll see how it plays out. Let's take a look at JKS, which is uh, Jinko Solar. Um, this stock closed at $21.42. It's trading at $21.55. It's been all over the map. So again, really hard one to track. Um, I'm not going to do anything with this one at the moment, but I will say if it got down to around $18.25, $18.30, there could be an aggressive trade there. You also have more support around the $16.50 level. Uh, next up, we're going to talk about Tata Motors. Uh, looks like they are trading a little bit lower this morning. Not a lot of volume here, but India was down overnight. The Shanghai Composite was also down over 3%, so we did have some real nasty global sell-offs. I think traders want to take note of that, especially in the Asian markets. Um, Japan, Nikkei 225, was down 189 points. The Hang Seng was down 1.7%, or 411 points. And like I said, the Shanghai Composite down over 3%, and that was down 130 points. India down 1%, 1.16%, down 324 points. So again, um, 
anything uh, related to, or I say, should say any Indian ADRs could be under pressure today. Tata Motors being one of the more notable ones. That is trading decently lower. Level I have for Tata that I like is 23.69. So keep that on the radar. Let's take a look at Perry. This is a nice little reaction. I believe this is off of earnings. Um, P-E-R-Y. Stock did trade as high as 28. Now sitting at 25.50. There's not a lot of volume here. This can change dramatically rather quickly. But again, um, <clears throat> good little pop. We'll watch this one once the opening bell rings. But believe me, believe it or not, this is a light volume equity, meaning it rarely trades any kind of significant volume. It, on average, I would say probably trades 100,000 shares a day. So when you have a stock like this, it can move dramatically in 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 each way, up or down. You can see how this goes to 28 down to 25.50. So be very very careful with stocks like this. Um, again, if it got up to 26, 27. You know, that's a real, real big resistance area or resistance zone. Again, like I said, these light volume names, they can move rather quickly. So you want to just take note of that. Let's take a look at Lumber Liquidators. I think that's up on an upgrade by uh, Cantor Fitzgerald. Um, what you're going to see here, this is trading at 1503, closed at 1421. That's a big move. So Lumber Liquidators catching a pretty good bid. We'll see how that plays out today. Again, it's Options X. So. Expect um, you know upgrades, downgrades, all around grades. Expect buyout rumors, takeout rumors. Um, that's just par for the course during Options X, and we see this each and every month. All right, um, looking at gold this morning. Gold is catching a pretty good bid. Gold futures up twelve dollars and eighty cents to eleven hundred and forty-one dollars an ounce. If you take a look at the GLD this morning, you'll see that that is trading at around one hundred nine forty-six. So good little pop for gold. Oil futures are flat on the day. I should say, yeah, they're actually in positive territory, trading up by five cents to 41.32. We're not going to make much out of oil at this stage of the game. We'll just see how it plays out uh, later today. All right, with that being said, everybody, come on over, take a seven day free trial. Just yesterday, we had one of our best trading days in the chat room of the year. It was absolutely explosive. It was a great trading day. Again, um, those are the days you want to be around. Not every day is going to be spectacular, but when you get those great ones, um, you know, one day could make a, a month's pay. So, again, come on over to the intraday stock chat. Take a seven-day free trial. Uh, you'll see what it's all about. We had a blockbuster day yesterday. <clears throat> We're going to look to keep that going today. With that being said, everybody, have a great session, and we'll see you on the charts.